I left the old gig six months ago, took a long time off. And uh, it turns out you can only build so many things out of Legos. Uh, I, then eventually your kids tell you to leave them alone and let them build their own Legos. Uh, so uh, I spent a lot of time talking to a lot of different places uh, about what I wanted to do. Because my last job I got to do really what I wanted to do. I got to do exciting work. And uh, when, when, the, when I was, a bunch of guys from the labs reached out to me. Uh, and uh, I, when I, I flew out here and talked to a bunch of folks. and. Uh, so Slashdot had a lot of journalism in it, right? I mean, it had uh, it, like it had like the other end of it, uh, and you know, I, I personally, I'm, I'm I think that's important stuff, and I I think that what they're doing here, uh, I can help, uh, and the 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 labs group is is very experimental. They're they're doing small, uh, achievable tasks. They have they have big goals, uh, but they're actually able to do you know rapid iteration. Uh, they're actually able to think stuff up and try stuff. Uh, and that's really exciting because I think that you, you got to throw a bunch of stuff out there uh, to see what's going to work. Uh, and and I think I mean they've they've demonstrated now uh, with Trove and Social Reader that they can actually do that, right? Uh, but it, I think that there's a lot more that they can do, and they have a fantastic resource. And they have this this whole post newsroom uh, that that is theoretically some, that that's information that they can incorporate into their products, and that to me is super exciting. I feel like. In the last 15 years, we've sort of watched a transition uh, as, as the amount of information that people share gets smaller and smaller, and the tools that they use to share that information gets easier and easier. Uh, uh, 15 years ago, to run a news site, it was a pretty difficult endeavor. You probably had to be an engineer to do it. Uh, then blogging comes along, uh, where you can write a 1,000 words. It's not hard, it's not easy, it's somewhere in the middle, but then you can see a steady progression. Uh, uh, live journal uh, makes it a little bit easier, uh, you know, tools like WordPress make it a little bit easier still, but then things like uh, Facebook and Twitter come along uh, where the, the bite of information that you're sharing becomes shorter and shorter, status messages uh, and the, the barrier to entry uh, becomes less and less and less. Uh, now you have things like Pinterest uh, where uh, it, it's like two or three clicks to share something with your friends. The problem is that there's something else at the other end of that. There's 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 bigger picture things. You know, there's there's journalism. There's news. There was the guy who tweeted that he saw the black helicopters uh, on their way to to go get Osama bin Laden. Uh, that's on some level that's journalism, right? I mean, uh, but it's not quite the same thing as what a place like the Post can actually do. Uh, it, I think that there's there's a broad spectrum uh, from the from the simplest basic elements of communication to you know actually you know feet on the pavement uh, sort of sort of journalism work and you know I, I want to experiment with ways to bring those together and I think that that's really that that's that's the thing that makes me excited to be here because I think that I think that we can do that cool and one last question uh, video is becoming more and more part of the mix in terms of journalism both what publishers are doing, like these guys, mm -hmm. and also, uh, you know, what people are doing in the streets in the Arab Spring. What's, uh, where is the opportunity for video to surface as part of the social conversation, and how can video become sort of more effectively consumed, uh, in your opinion? Well, it's. It's cool what's happening. It's actually it's almost exactly the same parallel uh, to you know I talked about how how tweeting is you know making it easier and shorter and smaller bits. You now have in your pocket the ability to record video, which will hold up on broadcast television. It's not going to be great. Now you have a very fine camera there. Uh, it would look much better, uh, but you can actually do it. And pictures are powerful, and video. I mean, you can tell a story in video so much more efficiently, and now you can have a camera that's better than anybody was shooting with, you know, 30 or 40 years ago in your phone, in your phone, in your pocket all the time. So, to me, the thing that's most exciting about video is that, you know, there are now orders of magnitude more cameras out there, uh, which has some scary repercussions, I guess, from now everybody's watching everybody all the time, which makes me feel a little bit weird. But uh, you know, they, they say in the programming universe that uh, with enough eyeballs, uh, all bugs uh, are shallow. Well, it's kind of the same thing. When there's enough cameras out there, somebody's going to see that thing, that important event, that important moment. Uh, and that, that matters because you know, there's, there's, there's good and there's bad in this world. And you know, if, if somebody's got a camera, I'd, I mean, I'd rather more people have cameras you know, than guns.
uh, you know, on some level, level they're kind of the same thing. Uh, you know, people are like, oh, I need a gun for security. No, you need a camera because when the world can see, uh, you know, that, that makes things different.